Be sure. Live, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll keep them entertained. Yeah, we'll be like back in like five. All right, we're not that we're not that interesting, but we'll keep them entertained. <laughs> we, we'll just start the show like we're just on our phones. I know, right? Not caring. <laughs> and I got some. I got. I got some ridiculous comment on Instagram. Hopefully, a, a good one. A good crazy. Uh, I, I guess this guy's like sick video, man. We need more mother efforts like you. Keep them coming. And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that's that's what you want to call me. Uh, all right. I guess it's a positive thing. <laughs> Oh, hey everybody! That's joining the live stream. Hello, hello. Um, what is going on? Photo Mike, Arnold, Sheldon, Steve, Sully, Victor. I'm the Brown. I'm the How you guys Brown. Do? I don't know. <laughs> Lee is just out making some coffee right now. That's why his chair looks empty there for you guys. Like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, photo Mike's got a play going on right now. What? Photo Mike's got got a plague. What? <laughs> like a play? Like uh, oh, I thought, I thought you meant like plague. I was like, oh shoot, that's not <laughs> <Yeah>. fun. <laughs> that's Fire terrible. Man. Patrick, what's up, man? How's it going, Patrick? So late. Oh, his plane. Oh, his plane. Okay, I mean, that makes more sense. That was a plague. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Arnold says he's there, yeah. Arnold says he's been waiting all day for this man. No pressure, man. No pressure. No, not at all. Michael, I mean, I'm not. I'm not feeling pressure. On. I'm just moderating today, so <laughs> I'm good. I'm, I'm hiding in the back seat. So, <laughs> uh, let's see. Did I already up my bandwidth? This is as good as it's going to get with my bandwidth on my side, Patrick. I've uh, I'm using my hotspot right now, so this is as good as it's going to get, unfortunately. Bradley Friesen is also live. Everyone's going live today. Sarah Dici was live. I was watching that. Yeah, Sarah Dici was live. I was like, where's her super chat at? You know, have the super <laughs> chat going. Because uh, there was no way to get a question put in place because there were so many comments going on. Some crazy comments, but. Yeah, I saw some uh, really crazy comments that we won't get into too much detail. <laughs> Steve's like, you're pushing through string. Yes, unfortunately, I am all the time. I. Huh. It sucks. It sucks on my end. I just wish I had better internet. Got to get out of wherever you're at, man. Man, I don't know. It's going to be an <laughs> expensive move. Yeah, Jason is always crispy. Crispy. Team crispy. Team crispy. Not even. This is like 720p, probably. <laughs> yeah, folks, again, when, those of you that are on right now, this is just the pre-show, pre-show. Uh, sorry, pre-show. Uh, it's we'll pre-show now. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Michael, I know it's you, man. What's going on, Michael? <laughs> That's my student right there. He was uh, he helped me out record some stuff. So, oh, yeah, I guess I guess <laughs> we should hold back a little bit now that there's kids in here. I I always hold back. It's you guys that I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Uncensored. Welcome to the Uncensored Monday Night Live. Oh no! Oh no! Is that because I'm here? Lee Lee Uncensored. We're worried it's about Lee that. Uncensored. Hi, guys. <laughs> It's completely <laughs> uncensored. <laughs> hide your wife, hide your kids. <laughs> Sebastian, man. What is up, Sebastian? Okay, Steve is moving in two weeks to get on that fiber, that fiber train. Where nice. are you moving, Steve? Yeah. Should I wish I had some fiber? Plenty of fiber. That sounds like a, a good line for like a cereal commercial for old women. Yeah, I could, I could definitely use <laughs> fiber. What's up, Lee? How's your, Lee, how's your internet? That's pretty good. How's the chat? Like, how do I get the chat open here? Uh, open up the web page. Um, find the live stream on my channel, and then just, just pop out. Yeah. Just pop it out so you can see it. Yeah, uncensored. That's what she said. <laughs> Chris Cheek says, when is Jason Lanier and Anger Photographer going live? They seem to be dating now. Oh my gosh. Wow. I called that out. Um, 
I saw some. Fo- I saw some photos from the uh, the LA meetup that Jason Lanier did. That was a lot okay. of photographers there. I'm I'm, cl- I'm kind of glad. I didn't yeah, it was go. a big it was a big turnout. It was a big oh turnout. Gosh, um, I was like, wow. I don't think I would have gotten any decent photos from that. <laughs> Photo Mike says, "Lord Zed streaming in 4K." Oh boy, Lord Zed. I wish. <laughs> how would you stream? How would we stream in 4K? Would that be a Twitch Twitch types deal? Um, I don't think you what? can yet. I think you're only limited uh, to 720, right? That'd be a huge amount, of, huge amount of bandwidth. For some reason, your YouTube page won't look for me. Oh, it's it's so him, shoot him the link. Yeah, let me go ahead and pull the link. Up. Like I'm I'm clicking the video, but it's not opening. <gasps> Maybe you've you've been banned um, from the internet. <laughs> I sent it to you, Google Docs, the little chat. I don't know if you can see the chat uh, window on the Google Docs, but I post. Well, yeah. I mean, you're you're really looking at the video, so I don't know if you're able to pop it out of chat. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm. I'll try it. I'll try and just paste the link. See what happens. Maybe I'm using too much bandwidth. <laughs> My internet's actually like not that fast, but the upload speed is like crazy fast, like for what it is. That's nice. Honestly, it's, that's. I think it's like fifteen to twenty megabit download, and I'm like fifteen up, which is. That's pretty, pretty good. There we go. I'm on now. Okay. okay. So I can pop the chat out. All right. I don't need to look at us. I just need the chat. That'll save bandwidth. Twitch can do 1080 at 60p. <laughs> Maybe they can yeah. do four 4K, 4K at 60p, right? Jason wins first prize for crispiness. <laughs> How is that? That's Jason. What's your internet over there, man? Like you're. Um, I think I'm on charter, dude. <laughs> I'm on charter, hey, and just, uh, yours... I don't know, dude. A seven R two with the uh, Black Magic video assist. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. You're shooting with the Elgato, right? The Elgato only limits you to 720, right? No, no. I'm using the AVI.O capture card. Oh never, but I, oh, never mind. But I scaled to 1080p. I'm not doing the 4K um, thing this time. It's probably your bandwidth. Yeah, I'm oh, going to Oh, yeah, that look good. <clears throat> yeah, this looks good, too. Adam says, your camera looks like it's picking uh, skipping frames, Lee. But It's a, it's a live stream. It's going to skip all kinds of frames. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know Adam. Hey, Adam. Sebastian asked me, am I still happy with the A9? I don't have any A9s anymore. None whatsoever. Oh. I don't have any A9s. A9. I, had I, had A9. I had two. I had two. Eric Rossi in the house. Eric Rossi, what's going on? Hey, oh, Eric. Eric. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's also <laughs> let's also summon a uh, angry photographer here. That'd be awesome. He actually likes me, to be honest. He does. Oh, he does because you know do you shoot Sony? It's because I shoot Fuji. <laughs> there we go. There you go. <laughs> no man, he gave me he's given me shoutouts before, which is like in a video, which is kind of weird. I need to get on his good side. The thing start. is, I don't know. If, like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But. It's mixed. <laughs> it's a mixed bag, man. It's just a mixed bag. Um, it's good to be on his good side, anyway. Yeah, Danny jumped like a thousand subs because of angry photographers. So, man, I busted my butt for that, man. <laughs> <laughs> busted your butt to get on angry photographers' radar. I told Danny right as soon as I saw that video go up, like within an hour, like it had like a hundred views. I'm like, this is gonna go viral. <laughs> dude I, I'm like it's it's going viral man Lee, lee's like my inside connect man he like messages me when something goes down he's like bro this is this is happening right now <laughs> it's gonna happen man i don't know how many views it's had but it definitely stirred the internet it did stir yeah. the photography community because uh, i think like like tony northrop just made a video like the other day about it yeah it's it's still going it just hasn't died they just don't want to let it die um, you're, you're like everywhere, you know. Um, it was, what is it? Panapixel, Fronos Photo. You're like you're on everyone's radar now. 
I don't know. It it dies out quick. I mean, after a couple of weeks, it's all be over. Um, yeah. For the most part, but it's kind of like a beating a dead. Uh, I don't know. There was a South Park episode. I don't know if anybody watches South Park, but or was it The Simpsons? It was like it's already dead. You can stop already, or something like that. And I don't know. <laughs> I can't recall the reference, but it's it's been it's been used up so much already. I think I think uh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's it's an old episode, but it's I think sort of The Simpsons. Yeah, it was The Simpsons. Let's see. Yeah, you, you have to. Uh, you just have to let it let it let it ride out. You know, it's 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 gonna die out. It's not. It's just just one of those. It's the same thing with the A sixty three hundred. Like when it was overheating and it was big a big deal. Yeah, I remember. That's when I started seeing like Zed's videos. Man, like Lee's stuff was like when he was doing those tests. Uh I was making the A6300 review and I was using it to record the talking part and I had been talking for 20 minutes and it just went and I was like, I, went, doo -doo -doo. I was like, what was that? <laughs> and I had like no experience with this camera overheating before. So I get up and look at it and I'm like, I flip it on and it says that like it's, you know, it has to cool down or whatever. I whipped yeah. out my iPhone and filmed that and put that video up and it went like semi-viral right away. <sighs> the, pl the the plague and the problems with Sony mirrorless cameras. All right. I don't care. It's 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 been good. I've made yeah. a lot of money with that camera. It's <laughs> <laughs> all that matters. Let's see what is going on with the chat. Dave sincere, Danny the Sony hater. LOL. <laughs> 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 Fritz, Michael, A8 coming out. I do not, I, I don't discount it. It might happen. Um, they're talking about how AP was shooting at 3200 ISO, high speed sync. Um, <laughs> I'm the Brown says, I have, have some backup batteries. I'm the Brown, I'm using, I'm using an actual um, AC battery now for the Alpha 6300. That's what's filming me right now, an Alpha 6300. As soon as Canon goes 4K in mirrorless, everyone will jump back from Sony. Oh, yeah, this, I don't know about this that. Is back, this is backwards. Oh, I, I know what's going on. I can flip this. I saw this before. Lee's going to work some of his magic here. I saw this before. Here we go. I think I think I am the correct way now. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's that's what I've already seen. You know, I picked this up. I picked this up because uh, this year's Canon's 150th birthday, so. Oh wow! I gotta wow. get some. I gotta get some memorabilia and some Canadian swag. I gotta ask: Does everybody in Canada likes hockey, or the most of the people there like hockey? Uh, That's like asking if Americans like all Americans like football. <laughs> it's probably the same. It's probably the same thing. Like it's it's big, but it's not like every like I don't. I'm not even into sports to be honest. I like the Olympics though. Like when the Olympics are around, because Can Team Canada always smokes everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the Olympic hockey. I gotta ask you, uh, you know, camera store TVs in Canada. How far are you from them? Do you know? Do you even? Uh... So yeah, so they're in Calgary, which is about like straight driving, like three, three to four days away. Oh, god. oh my gosh! Yeah, Canada's a really big country. It takes almost a week <laughs> to get from east coast to west coast. That's uh, uh -huh. in my mind. I always think I can. I can always see Canada really big up there on the map, but I never think about it in terms of its distance. And it's the same thing, like from West Coast to East Coast in the U.S. United States. But I always yeah. imagine you guys are so close together. Like this is the population, just all lives in one spot. But no, it's apparently, not. Apparently, no. <laughs> all of California's population is the size of Canada's population. Oh God! So but spread out, deep, of, spread out. Yeah, there's a lot of empty space. All right, guys, it's 7 o'clock. Danny? All right, everybody, welcome to Monday Live uh, with Jason Bong and I. Our guest today really needs no introduction. <laughs> it's Lee Zavitz, also known as Zed Pro Media. Lee, go ahead and say <laughs> hi to the camera for everybody. What's up, guys? I just noticed Jason Vong updated the, the show notes to start, so we're starting right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so today, yeah, 
uh, thanks for joining us on our live stream today. I asked him a couple days ago, and he's just like, you know what? He was shooting a wedding, and um, he had Lee was willing to respond while he was shooting a wedding and say, hey, That's you know what? I'm right down. Here. I'm down. I'll I'll join this live stream on Monday. So, uh, really glad yeah, about I, that. I was I was checking the time because I had to like hop from the grooms getting ready to or the grooms the whatever the dudes they were getting ready and I had to go back over to the bridesmaid. So. What's up, Dave? All right. So uh, first thing we're going to do is quickly just navigate through the hashtag new gear segment of our show. We'll breeze through it really quick. Myself, Jason, as well as Lee, we've got we picked up something new in the past week or so or uh, whatever it is, and we'll cover that right now. If you have any new gear that you recently picked up and you'd like to share, we'd love to hear what you've got. Uh, just do a hashtag new gear. Jason Bong is uh, mo helping with the moderation today in the comments section. So, uh, Jason, can you say something there for us? Hello. <laughs> Hashtag new gear. Hashtag Jason's new gonna, gear. Uh, Jason's going to look a little bit happier this time because last time they said he was having a, a bad day. <laughs> you yes, look bored, Jason. I was like, dude, I'm moderating the chat, man. <laughs> All right. Take, so, take some dedication. It, it does take dedication. And um, and like I said, we're actually on episode 16 of Monday Live. This is episode 16 of Monday Live. I don't know how we've made it this far for this. Uh, it's this freaking long. four months. Can you believe that? I don't even believe it. <sighs> Dude, it, it just it just adds up, man. It'll be yeah, at 50. Every, every time Monday Night Live rolls around, I'm like, oh, shoot, it's Monday. <laughs> my, friends, my friends hit me up. Hey, you want to grab some dinner tonight? I'm like, yeah, sure. What time? Yeah, around like 730. I was like, I'll be there. And then I was like, wait a minute. No, I can't. I have a, I have a live show. <laughs> I have a live show to do tonight. I always forget. Yeah. It's it's Danny, always in the back of my mind now. And Danny, there might be. Danny, Danny sends me a reminder every morning at like 7.01 a.m. <laughs> you ready for the nice live show? Yes. Yes, I am. That's what gets me out of bed in the morning. Oh, there you go. Um, so as far, actually, I think there might be one week in July that I might have trouble doing a Monday live. So, uh, Jason Vaughn might have to, uh, have a guest host at time. So we'll see, um, when that happens, but we'll vote find now. out. Vote now who you guys want to, want me to interview. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Almost. All right. Hashtag new gear for myself. What I recently picked up that I thought was, that had some impact was this, um, uh, Actually, I'm not going to show it to you because it'll break my stream. It's the AV.io <laughs> 4K capture card. Uh, it retails for like 450. It's not cheap. I just wanted to pick it up and see how it works. Um, but basically, my Alpha 6300 that I have here, I got a 4K signal. I take that, go straight to the computer, and I use OBS to record the signal. So I've been using that lately. I've also mentioned before that I have like another Alpha 6300 back up here somewhere, and I. I just connect my AV.io with another HDMI cable so I can pull a 4K signal from there to record some top-down shots straight into my computer. I just don't want to take memory cards out because I'm lazy that way. But yeah, that's what I recently picked up. Jason? Oh, man, if you guys have been following my Instagram story, I've been getting a lot of stuff. <laughs> like these new pair of headphones, these Sony wireless Bluetooth headphones, the MDR-1000X and Man, going wireless has changed my life. I can like literally like sit here, walk to the restroom with my headphones, and still be able to listen to some YouTube videos or some podcasts. So, um, uh, I initially got these because I placed an order for the uh, the Apple AirPods, and these were still sold out everywhere. So I placed an order. I was like, "Well, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick up the Sony in the meantime." So when this ship, this also shipped at the same time. So now I have two wireless. Um, I guess. Uh, headphone and ear earphones and uh another thing that i got and this just came in the mail the dji spark oh Ooh. oh snaps i can't unbox it because i have to do this live show Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> just unbox it right now jason just, unbox it right now. Right now. <laughs> just do it we just need this, we need it. more we need more viewers <laughs> yeah change the, yeah, change the title now yeah change the title dj spark just, yeah, we need to change the change the thumbnail of my head to the dj spark on top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> sorry the dj spark right, stole the show we should just blur parts of Lee's body on the actual <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> and <laughs> well, surprise, sir. surprise guest, DJ Spark. Oh man! All right, what did you got recently? That's exciting. Uh, so 
I got this two weeks ago. It's uh, I'll get it out here because you know, we got to show it off how, how beautiful it is. Got the Fuji X100F, and uh, yeah, it's it's a little baby little baby camera, but uh, it's got a lot of power. And uh, I've actually really wanted it for a long like I've always wanted an X100 camera, like just the smaller you know fixed lens cameras. And uh, I've always held off because they're like way too expensive for like what it is. But um, I don't know. I really love the new sensor that's in the the newest Fuji cameras, and they dropped one in that camera. So twenty four megapixel X Trans three sensor sitting on is... a twenty three millimeter f two fixed lens. So yeah, that was the thing I was wondering because it is a fixed lens model. Was there like another model with a different fixed lens on that for Fuji, or was that? Yeah, so there's an X70, I think it's called, and I think it has, uh, it doesn't have an EVF, though. Uh, let me check here. I'll find I don't out. Know. It might be a 35 millimeter or 28 millimeter or something like that. But yeah. It doesn't do 4K, right? It's just an 80p recording. Yeah, no, um, no. It's not really made for video. I wouldn't, I mean... Uh, I'll, when I make my review, you'll see how awkward it is to get into video too. It's not like you just push a record button. You actually got to go into the menu and put it into like a record mode. It's just a street. And, and how would you find so just street photography type style and just some? Uh... Yeah. Okay. All right. But uh, I brought it with me to the wedding, and I I pulled it out and used it a couple times, and I'll have some some good shots with it, so I can show off once my review is live. I actually brought it to a photo shoot too, and uh, the dudes are like. The camera's like so quiet because it has a leaf shutter, so it's like mm -hmm. super silent when it takes a shot. It actually has a sound effect, <laughs> a sound effect that you can add to make the shutter louder. Ooh, that's so, another camera we know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the A the A nine sound is just way too quiet. Um, even the little little sound the add is, to my opinion, but uh, yeah. So, Danny, Danny, we're kind of losing you, by the way. Your audio's going in and out. Hold your there phone you up in the see. air. Hold your Man. phone up so you get a better connection. Jeez. Oh, why, why am I dealing with this right now? <laughs> <sighs> All right. Am I still, still like, going out of tune? No, you're, you're, you're a little bit better now, but earlier okay. you're kind of let me know. If, let, me know if the, let me know if the audio starts peeking out or something like that. Let me know. Cool. Um, no, you look good right now. Yeah. You sound good. You sound better. All right, all right. Thanks for the compliment. All right, so, all right. Uh, <laughs> um, Jason, can you lead us through the hashtag New Gear stuff? Sure thing. So, Chris Cheek says he just picked up the Zoom H6. Steve says he got a new studio with 300 up, 300 down, crispy internet. And we all hate Steve right now. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, get out of here. We don't like you anymore. Nah, I'm just messing. Arno, Arno Galanato says, 70 to 40 L lens for my MC11, and I bought that 29.99 digital filter app from the Play Memory. I feel slightly disappointed by that app. Ouch. Damn, 30 bucks? Oh, crap. I didn't know it was that expensive. I thought it was cheaper. Uh, Eric Rossi says, uh, new gear, Canon 100mm macro. Bro, aren't you on the Nikon train? I guess he's doing both. <laughs> or wait, did he sell? I forgot. Eric, I forgot. Was it? Because I know you got an 80D, right? I could have sworn. So, but. Cause I, cause question I is, is that the L, the L version? Oh, true. That lens is, is, is nice. I, I just never got it. Damn. Bushrex says. Uh, Bushrex says uh, he won an Aperture Tri Eight in the YouTube video contest today. Congratulations, Bushrex. So you can actually win those YouTube contests. That's awesome. So so YouTube contests are real. You can actually win something. That's that's good to know. <laughs> Lee, Lee, you gave, Lee, you gave something out. Somebody did win it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I gave away the uh, Zhiyun Smooth Q. Thanks, oh, wow. Lee. I, I appreciate it. I got it in the mail. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where you got yours. It's rigged. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Imagine like the giveaways are just going to other YouTubers. We're just handing them off to each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone won it, and uh, she does like vlogging and stuff. So I'm curious to see what she does with it. It should be pretty sweet. That's awesome. good. I like when if it goes to somebody that's going to be able to utilize it, that's also a good thing. Yeah, exactly. 
Uh, Sully Cortez says, New gear, power, extra, NPF battery with DC and USB <clears throat> out. So useful, power three things at once. Awesome. Yes, sir. JYP Photo, New Gear, A9, 24 to 70, G Ooh. Master, 85.18, finally used 50 millimeter F1.8 for $109. Yep, putting 100 nifty 50 on my $4,500 A9. Woo! Oh, boy. Nice. Yep. Dave Sincere purchased a Flashpoint Explore 600 and a Photo Diox 48 inch Octobox. Should arrive before Thursday. Nice. Nice. Oh, uh, Life Exposure Photography also won a contest. Uh, won the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II. It is still in the shadow of my A6000. Won it at a drink and click event in Madison, Wisconsin? Yeah, I think that's right. Drink nice. and click? What does that mean? You drink... Is it one of those drinking games where you drink when someone says a particular word? Is that... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. Drink and click. Wow. Uh, J, J, uh, D, oh man, butcher your name. I'm so sorry. Jay says, uh, new gear, secondary camera, Sony a6300 with the LE, LAE, uh, the, one of the A-mount adapters, uh, for the Sigma 18 to 35 F1.8 zoom. Cool. Awesome stuff. Uh, I think, uh, that's, that's it for the new gear from the chat. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start with our, uh, interview questions <laughs> for Lee. If you have any questions for Lee, I think we can just do hashtag, I don't know, what should we do? Hashtag Zed, hashtag Lee. Lee, what do you like going by? It's crazy that everyone calls me Zed, but I don't hate it. It's, it's a good, it's a good, good nickname. <laughs> just do hashtag Zed. Hashtag Zed. One, Jason, let him know, please. Sir. No, one, one D. The two Ds is the, the artist, the, the EDM artist. All right, so if you got a question for Lee, Put hashtag Zed, and we'll jump to that as soon as we go through it. Um, first of all, I actually I'm really curious because I don't. I, I mean, this is the first time. To be perfectly honest with everyone out here, this is the first time I'm actually interacting face to face with Lee. I've I've never interacted with him in real life, so um, he's not. <laughs> it is the first time. Uh, Lee, how did you get started in your photography and cinematography career? Um, this could be a really long question. Or a really long answer, sorry, or I can make it short. Um, because the short answer is basically when I kind of decided to quit my job and do it full time. But I can just kind of give like a backstory. So um, I look way younger than I actually am. But uh, when I, I, I guess my parents had like a VHS camcorder, like one of those big ones you stick on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was probably like 10 or 12 or something like that. This is before like the internet and YouTube and stuff. And I somehow figured out how to do stop motion videos with it. And I completely wrecked the camera, but I used to like hit record, hit stop, move the thing. I was doing it with like Lego or something. I'd make these like crazy stories and like no one sees them because you can't share them. Like there's no platform to share them on. So I just like would watch them and like show my mom or something. Uh, so that's kind of like where it sort of started, but it wasn't like something that was like, I, this is what I'll do f for life. But were you, were um, you part of the '90s generation, Lee? Are you you were born in the '80s, right? And then I was born in the '80s. Yeah. Yeah, you lived through the '90s, so you got you were the '90s generation, the VHS yeah. cameras, uh, yeah. and then they moved on to like the CD. <laughs> I, it was just crazy, to, uh, crazy stuff back then. Um, they had so many different disc uh, v VHS formats. Uh, yeah, so it was the big one, and then the next camera they bought after I broke that one was like. Uh, it was like a mini VHS. It wasn't. It wasn't high eight or anything. It was still like a. I can't remember the. I think there was a the mini format. VHS standard. There was a yeah. mini VHS standard. Yeah. So that was the camera they got next. And but anyway, that's that's kind of where it started. And then in high school, um, I took like uh, film photography, like like developing in the dark room and stuff. And again, I it wasn't like a passion of mine but like the teacher would always be like oh you have a really good eye for this and i was just like yeah whatever and i was in a band at the time so i'm just like i'm a rock star like i don't i'm just gonna do music for life kind of thing and uh yeah so that's that's kind of like the backstory and then um i was at my one job and like i just i just kind of had enough with my boss i was like i need to find something that can make me something like more money or something like that and, and i was kind of like pissed off at the time just because he was you know how bosses are and, yeah. if, you, uh, if you don't mind, what kind of work were you doing prior? For you? 
So um, I installed garage doors for like seven years, like doing commercial overhead doors and residential and stuff like that. So that's basically what I came from. So, you know, I, I know it's like to work hard and, and that's why like this job is like, it's, it's, it's sweet. It's like, like hard work. My, my threshold of hard work is like so high that like, I don't care. I just make anything happen, you know? Yeah. But, um, so, so going back to the, the quitting the job thing, um, there used to be a website called pop tent. I don't know if you guys, if you, it's about 2010. And what they do is they do crowdsourcing um, for brands. And I made this like, they had, Pizza Hut had this like um, thing where like people just make little commercials and they give you some assets and stuff. And it was for the new app where you could order, like make your own pizza and order it. Yeah. And uh, I made this like fun little cheesy rap thing that I did all these crazy editing with like motion track text and stuff. And uh, I won. And I won like 7,500 bucks and like the video, oh, wow. the video like aired or something back then. And uh, that's kind of what started. I was like, man, I can make money from this. And um, I think I bought a T2I. I'm kind of destroying your next question. Unless that's good, it segues into the next question. So so this, this first <laughs> camera that you got, right, Lee? Um, <laughs> At yeah. that time, so at this time, it's 2010. DSLRs are starting to kind of, kind of come into the arena. Um, were you were you already doing like photography based stuff at that point, or this was just Not, that video editing thing that you put together for Pizza? Hut? Yeah, yeah. So photography. So like I said, I was in a band. So like we used to do our own. I used to do like the slimy things. I'd, I'd buy a camera and take photos of our band and then return the camera because I didn't have any money at the time. Right? <laughs> So uh, I kind of did it that way, but again, it wasn't like this is what I'm going to do. It's just like I can run a camera and take good photos as good as hiring someone else, right? Just set it up on a tripod, make sure it's all framed up nice and, and whatnot, right? But um, yeah, so I still wasn't like into photography at that point. I was just doing video stuff. And uh, so yeah, I think I got a T2i and then that's kind of when my gear, the gear, love of gear came in because then I was looking into lenses and at that time YouTube you know, you had uh, digital rev was huge, right? So I yeah. watched those guys. And the first lens I got was the Canon 50 1.4. And, and then at that, around that time, the T3i was announced. And I was like, man, I want to flip out screen so I can see what I'm doing. Like, you know, so I got the T3i. Okay. And then from there, it just. Hell yeah, five, T3i six, is six, six, 60D, 5D. I just went up from there. Nice. Well, there you go, folks. I, that was yeah. that was very enlightening. I really uh, it, the origin Tripped stories. The origin stories are always very interesting. How everyone gets started, um, and that's cool. So, 2010 is kind of that <clears throat> moment you kind of uh, push forward with everything. Yeah. Uh, all right. Awesome. So, as you went through this phase, you started picking up. I'm assuming you started going into photography or video. When did the aspect of a YouTube channel, why did you start your YouTube channel? That's what I'm wondering. Um, so I really only started like a year, a year and a half ago. Not even, not even really because, yeah, I guess it was a year and a half. I guess it's June now somehow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I started like the start of last year um, doing like computer stuff. Cause I've always been into like building PCs and stuff. And I decided to build a custom water cool PC. So I documented the entire build blog, bending tubes and like doing the whole crazy water cooling thing. And I mainly did it just so that I could say I did it. And like, like 10 years from now I can look back and go, I freaking did that. And it was insane. <laughs> and, and for some reason those videos took off and like, um, at the time I was shooting with like Sony stuff. I had the A7R2 and I just got the A6300. So I decided to review it just for the heck of it. Cause I started gaining some subscribers from the water cooling stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's all, it's all uphill slash downhill from, from there. <laughs> so it's been a roller coaster for you basically kind of up and down, up and down, depending on the, on the time. Um, 
You know what was really cool? Uh, I remember that video when you did your water cooling <laughs> build and you showed all the tubing that you did and you filled it all up and everything. And then you started having leaks with it and you had to fix that whole problem. <laughs> Yeah. I was I was just like, how does he have the patience to do this? And you were saying it's like five o'clock in the morning, guys. It's like the next oh, day, yeah. or and I, I thought it was amazing. I mean, I I like the computer build stuff, but I just couldn't I just couldn't wrap my head around that kind of level of doing uh, water cooling, uh, water cooling blocks for all that uh, tubing. But yeah, it's super unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is just it's just a showpiece, right? It's it's a. Uh, I actually didn't have a leak though. It was just I had the flow reversed. So okay. I had to like re redo it. But yeah, it was like every night. Like when I get stuck on something, I'm just like, I stick with it. And it's like, I got to get this done. I want Well, I also wanted to use the computer because I didn't have one at the time. And so I was like trying to like every night get it finished. And yeah, it was it was like a week of work. It was crazy. So are you still kind of uh, in the know what's what's going on in the PC world right now? Are you kind of yeah. photography video and what's going on with like the Ryzen, the Threadrippers and the i9 deal going I'm on? Actually, yeah, I'm actually going to build a... Um, I'm gonna build a Ryzen system for my buddy. Are you gonna wait for Threadripper, so, or are you gonna go with the the, the current cards, the current chips? Probably not Threadripper, because he needs it now. <laughs> so, yeah. sixteen cores, man, sixteen cores. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm honestly very excited. I'm really glad AMD made a made a jump back, and same. things are looking promising. To be perfectly honest, and the Intel price has dropped. The Intel oh, prices really? drop. Yeah, I think some of their processors are dropping some of their prices in. So I'm really glad about that. So competition's always good. Yeah, those those guys are they well, they they didn't care like about the competition, so they just bumped prices way up. Yeah, they pretty much had all that they can do. All right, uh, Lee, I got one more question for you here, and then I'm gonna we're gonna jump back to the chat. Um, cool. I just want to know how and when did you come up with Z Pro Media? The name, actually. Uh, okay. Uh, so I quit my job, and I started doing royalty-free music, which is something else you didn't know about me, too. Oh, okay. And I, uh, I, I don't know if you've heard of Audio Jungle. It's like where you can get royalty-free music. Audio Jungle. Yeah. So I'm a, I'm a creator on there as well. <laughs> yeah, the watermark. Audio the Jungle. The watermark. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I hear... Anytime I hear like a ukulele song or something, I just like in my head just start throwing the watermark over top of it. <laughs> it's like ding 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 audio jungle. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so anyway, I needed to come up with a name for that. I actually moved all that stuff off of there. It's not called that anymore, but um I start so I, I was doing that cuz I was making some money on the side from that and um I was also doing photography and video stuff just freelance, like on the side, like during weekends and stuff while I was working the other job. And I was like, I better like make an actual business name because I don't have anything other than my own name. And then I wanted like business cards and a website and stuff. So Z Pro Media. Um, so in Canada, the letter Z is pronounced Z. Mm. And my last name starts with a Z. So I just, that's where it came from. <laughs> And, mm, and since I do, sense. since I do audio recording, I do video and photography. It's all media related stuff. So, damn! I thought it was a yeah. Power Rangers reference. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Zordon or Zord, what's his name? Lord Zed. Lord Zed, Zed the, the bad guy. Oh. I was like, I, I was like, maybe, maybe it's a Power Rangers reference. But uh, damn, I, uh, I, I was Make off. Make my monsters grow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for destroying your. Your dreams, hopes and dreams. Uh, I know. I was just so close. I was like, must be Lord Zed. He must have been a Power Rangers kid, but I don't know if Canada had Power hey, Rangers. Yeah, man. I, I, I even watched the new Power Rangers movie. Uh, I haven't seen it. I guess I'll, I'll watch it when it's available online or DVD or something. <laughs> I can't, I can't qu I comment on whether it was good or not because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings if they hated it or loved it. Oh, it was terrible then. Damn it. <laughs> I, I used to watch Power Rangers all the time. That was like my go-to. That and Saved uh, by the Bell. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, the 90s. <clears throat> Jason Vong, help us out here. We're going to jump to Q&A from the chat. Uh, if there's any questions for, uh, I guess, any of us or Lee in general. 
Cool. Yeah. Uh, pretty much you guys tackled a lot of the questions already um, during the whole interview. Uh, JYP Photo even asked, where did the Z come from? So now you know JYP Photo. So uh, so we're just left with a couple questions. Um, Sheldon Jones asks, do you think the Panasonic EVO 1 will actually do what it says on paper compared to the C200? And I think that's directed to um, Lee here. Um, sorry, what was that question? I was I was just uh, commenting at Sully. I'm just kidding. Why knew it was about the EVO 1 or the C200? What, what was the question? It's, uh, do you think the Panasonic EVO 1 will actually do what it says on paper compared to the C200? Um, yeah, I don't see why not. The, the only thing that is questionable is whether it'll have some kind of autofocus system in it or not. I don't think that the specs are too far off. I mean, it's basically a GH5 with a bigger sensor, and we all know how the autofocus is on the GH5. Sure. It's just, it's great. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny right. how people, people really question, like, it's the same with you, Danny, like, when the camera overheats, like, people question it, and you're freaking showing them what it's doing. I don't, I don't like, know, man. I show the autofocus, and it's not working, and they're like, oh, you just need to do this setting and this setting. It works amazing. And it's like, <laughs> I've used this thing a million times. Like, it doesn't work that well. But it's all probably lens dependent. So I don't know. There's just they're always going to be there. The people that just want to believe something else in which you got showing. And I'm like, I'm showing the examples. But even though you show examples and you're showing the information, it's um, I don't know. I don't know what will change it. It's like how much. It's like how much easier can it be to believe other than to come right to their front door and show them. <laughs> Someone actually contacted me. There was somebody else online that messaged me. He's like, hey, man, I'm in California. Come down where I'm at right now. We'll show the Sony A9 overheating. You can bring your cameras. I'll show mine, and we'll do it right now because mine's overheating. And they're like, we'll prove everybody wrong. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was almost down for it. And I was like, ah, you know, I don't, I don't think it's necessary. People are going to believe it if they want to or not. No, it is. What That's what you need to keep You need the yeah. photo Joseph Max Yurif. Um, showdown that they did. <laughs> We're flying to Canada. We're going to Canada. You guys can come, man. We got lots of room here. Uh, <laughs> you guys can chill. Lee, what part of Canada are you at? How long of a drive would that be? I live in Toronto. It'll probably take you like four days to get here if you drove. Yeah, we'll we'll start right now. We'll do we'll do landscape photography on the way to Canada. Dude, hey, man, uh, I'm down. The, dri I'm the down. drive. If you guys drove up to BC, I would consider meeting you there. There's some craziest scenery there in BC, like in the mountains and stuff. And let's do it, Danny. I'll bring my Mavic Pro. Let's do it. I'll bring my Spark. Oh, man. The wind would throw that thing around. <laughs> Hold on. It's Hold so on. windy there. there you go. I, just, I just need an excuse to show off the Spark. <laughs> just unbox it, unbox it right now. I just unbox it in the background <laughs> while you guys <laughs> He's like filming his other video while we're doing while we're doing this right now. Hey guys, we'll, we'll go to my unboxing video. <laughs> I see that other um, setup you have over your left shoulder. Oh yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm the Brown. Ask Zed, what's your go-to run and gun setup? Um, I don't really do a lot of run and gun, but like honestly, the A6300 is like what I would consider running gun for now, like with a road video mic micro or whatever the small one is. Um, like I have stuff that's, that makes it more running gun for me, like the DJI, DJI Ronin, but like not everyone wants to set that up. Interesting enough though, I don't know if you guys can link something, but I shot a video in Miami back in February with the A6300 all in autofocus with only two lenses on the DJI Ronin. And I was literally in the back uh, of a van and we literally would like show up to like locations because we wanted to show like the culture of Miami. We'd literally like, drive up to locations. I'd hop out of the back, flip the Ronin on, and just like film. And like, that was pretty run and gun. And it doesn't look like it because of how I shot it, but um, it's pretty cinematic. I can, I can put the link in the doc if you want. To yeah, go for it. it. And then you can even post it in the comments, um, the actual chat. <clears throat> You post that, I'll throw, I'll throw the link in there. I still think the A6300 is like such a bargain, like what you get for the money. Yeah, let's just let's just break it down right now. So 
Uh, Lee, you still have your Alpha 6300, yeah. right? Sony released the firmware. You haven't had a chance to get to the update on that. Mm -hmm. uh, why, why do you consider it a, a bargain camera? So I don't know what it costs. Is it under 1000 right now? I think it's like almost under nine here in the US. You can probably get it for. Okay, so it's, I'm gonna just post the video here quick. Um, so, oh, I can't, I need to be a moderator probably. Damn it. Anyway, I'll put it, I'll put it in the, the doc Shoot me here. the link, shoot, shoot the post link to me. I think I, think I can, put, like, I think I can post it. Uh, I'll put it in the chat. Anyway, uh, where was I? So yeah, so for like for value, you get a 24 megapixel sensor, which is good in low light. Um, obviously you don't get IBIS, but I mean, I mean, it would be nice. Okay, well, <laughs> you lose that, but you get you get the same sensors. You, you get everything that the A sixty five hundred has, except for touchscreen and IBIS, basically. And now with the new update for overheating, you get the extended temp, which the sixty five hundred has. But like, you get decent autofocus, four uh, K video. It's like one of the best four K, like like well, you get the down sampling or whatever. So. Yep. Um, in my opinion, it's it's just a good good value, and the thing is, like, um, like I said, like I've made I've made a lot of money with that camera, and like it's it's paid itself off millions of times, and I have no reason to get rid of it. <clears throat> you're gonna you're gonna love that extended temp, then, man. It's just gonna it's just gonna make it easier for you to use. Um, I just like it because it's like an insurance policy on the camera. It's it's just gonna give it more time. If you're if you push the camera, then that was the thing I mentioned. Is just even if you have even if you push the camera, I'm not saying you're going to push it all the time. It gives you a little bit more uh, wiggle room um, with that camera. And so, I think if the price dips a little bit more, maybe the next few months or so, if that camera drops, I think it's going to be a really uh, really good camera to get. But I think that update might actually keep the prices going at what it is right now. So uh, that's what I'm thinking right it about it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just like. At the, okay, so here's the thing. We'll go back to when I first got my first Sony. It was a six thousand, and that was because of Jason Lanier. He got me so hyped up, and uh, <laughs> I shot I shot quite a bit of video even with that camera, and I was pretty impressed with the autofocus. But when they announced the sixty three hundred, I was like, "Yes, it's the a six thousand with four K," and like mm -hmm. that's what I was excited about. And Jason Vong sold his off because he wanted to go to the sixty five hundred. Oh yeah, dude, that that Ibis is like. The, the 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 deal the seal the deal sealer for me. Yeah, <laughs> Jason, was there any other questions that you noticed for both? Uh, yes, Lee? sir. Uh, Dave Sincere asked uh, Zed, "What did your parents think about you quitting your job and doing media full time?" Um, I still feel like they don't really know what I do. <laughs> Like I, I, I know they know what I do, but I don't know if they think like I don't think they realize how serious it is, like that I'm making a serious living from it. Um I talk about it. Like I, I think it was more questionable when I was selling like royalty free music, because it's like how like how how are you making money from that? And obviously they know they might even be watching on YouTube, who knows? My mom's like my biggest fan. She watches all my videos. It's like, oh I watched your overheating video the other day. It's like Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i don't know they i they, they're they generally pretty supportive of whatever i want to do oh, that's, that's awesome. good why are you making videos about cameras overheating <laughs> people, need to know. <laughs> people, people need to know man people need to know <laughs> jason any other questions for him uh yeah so the the photo video show as uh, Zed, you holding out hope for improved video functions on the X-T2? Um, yes and no. I mean, if they, like, all they really need to add is improved um, options for autofocus in video. As far as video shooting manually, it's fine. Um, and maybe adding F-log internally instead of externally. So we can shoot some some log. <laughs> Do you see the comment from Dave? Dave, he's a foodie shooter. I didn't know those guys existed. 
<laughs> they do. They do. That's why we brought him on board. We need. We need. We, it's an echo chamber sometimes with me and Jason. We need somebody else that uses different stuff. It uh, offers different perspective and everything. Yeah, that's Always why I really. Yeah. The thing is, all we've talked about is Sony, though. I know. I know. <laughs> we're we're going to get to this next one right here, but uh, you know, this is not an area that I'm very well versed in. So, uh, you know, one thing that I I was interested in because uh, here in the U.S. there was a rebate, a thousand dollar rebate on the FS5, the Sony FS5, and. Uh, you know, a thought crossed my mind about getting an FS5, but I realized I don't really need it for what I do, period. Um, and then C200 announcement and then the information about that and then the Panasonic e EVA, right? E EVA? Yeah, EVA1. Um, EVA1. So, Lee, uh, you're looking for, you're trying to approach, you're looking for a cinema camera for the work that you're doing. And what what camera choices were on the table and why did you end up deciding on the C200 for you? That's what I'm wondering. Um, so I would say that there was nothing really on the table. It's like right as soon as it came out and I like looked at it, I was like, I could afford that. Like I could probably do that. You know, like it, it really before that, I wasn't really thinking a bit about getting a cinema camera. Um, you, know, you know, you dream about getting a red or something like that, but that's just like unattainable for most of us. And I, I picked up the GH5 because it's, you know, 4k 60 um and that's something that i've i like i shoot a lot of video in 60 frames per second in 1080p and it's annoying because i like i like shooting in 4k and like i'm just i've just been waiting for 4k 60 and so i picked up the gh5 but the gh5 has a lot of shortcomings um when it comes to certain things uh, it's it, uh, people are gonna hate me for saying that it, it's it's still an awesome camera and <laughs> Like, here it comes, here it comes. He's gonna say it. The thing is, people the people are looking for a one camera that fits all because of their budget, right? And if you're not a professional making serious money from it, it makes sense. You're gonna want and that, and that's why Sony's doing so well, because you've got, you know, all the features you need plus an awesome photo camera. And um that's that's what people are looking for. But when you do this as a job, it, there's a lot of shortcomings with using a DSLR or, or a mirrorless camera that does both. And I've really stuck to shooting Fuji only for photos. I don't use it for video at all, barely. And I've been still using my Sony and the GH5 for video. But um, I think having the cinema camera with ergonomics and buttons that are just everything you need is like right there. Um, plus built in ND filters and stuff like that. It's like, I don't know. It's it's kind of something where I'm like I need to step up in my game and just just do it and it'll pay itself off in a couple couple jobs maybe depends on depends on the budget but um, you know I shoot a lot of music videos which have a decent budget sometimes and and I think that me having the C200 looks better on paper too versus showing up with like an A6300 and you know what what but, what are some a couple of the features that stood out to you for the c200 that made you want to gravitate towards that camera um and get it um i would say uh, well obviously raw should being able to shoot raw i know it's like a, a compressed raw but still having the ability to shoot uh 4k 60 raw uh it'll actually do in 12 bit in okay. the 24 fps 30 fps and then 10 bit in 60 FPS. Oh, look at that. We just got 20 bucks. <laughs> I'm the Brown. You are awesome. I'm the Brown. We're going to break, Danny. Guys, drop the super chat. We're flying. We're flying to Canada, guys. Maybe drive. Let's we'll see. <laughs> 20 <laughs> bucks will get you probably to. <sighs> where, you guys are in, in near LA, right? Well, yeah. Just, yeah. Let's just say the LA. Uh, uh, yeah, you might, you might get to like what? Like. Uh, Santa Cruz or something. <laughs> on, on Twenty I bucks. I don't even know. Keep keep dropping some money. We'll fly to Canada. Maybe, tomorrow. maybe he might be making it on fumes to like San Francisco or something. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, four uh, K sixty FPS raw, which is obviously the raw light. I'm curious to see how that's going to hold up, and you'll obviously get a review from that. Um. But then, like I said, like all the ergonomics button placements, uh, built-in ND filters up to like 10 times, which is 10 stops, sorry, which is pretty nice not having to put filters on the front of your lenses, which is kind of screwing around when you're trying to set stuff up and you're 
you're putting the filters on, there's dust inside and you take it back off and clean and put the filter back on. It's, it just gets kind of annoying. So that's kind of nice to have. Um, obviously the sensor should be pretty decent being a super 35 sensor. So it should be pretty good in low light. I've watched every video that's out right now, which is weird. They're all British. I don't know why, but everyone in England got to use that camera. It's weird. Uh, yeah. They, they, yeah. they I, saw, I saw that Kai did his video review, although it wasn't very too informative, but, um, he goes for that. His videos never are. Yeah. yeah. It's just entertain entertainment based. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So where, where was I? So yeah, we got 4k 60 raw ND filters, uh, super 35 sensor. Uh, and now, this is pretty cool, which is something I don't really care about, but it might be nice. Um, well, there's two things. First thing is it's small enough to fit on the Ronin, which is pretty awesome because I got the one without the EVF and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is it has dual pixel autofocus uh, with like the new updated version of dual pixel autofocus. So you've got like object tracking yeah, and face detection and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. So to have that in a cinema camera, see but yeah i mean those are like my main main things but then there's obviously the the drawbacks of the 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 codec they're using for the lower stuff that isn't raw it's only 4208 bit which is pretty pretty crappy i mean well i mean it's not crappy it's it's the same as what's in like the 6300 or whatever but um it's so so are you gonna are you gonna end up doing uh, some investments in cfast cards because apparently i hear it's only one card slot and uh, CFast cards kind of run up a bit. So I'm guessing you are going to shoot some things in RAW, I'm, I'm assuming. If I'm shooting music videos, I'm going to shoot them all in RAW. If I'm shooting YouTube videos, if I am if I do end up using it for shooting YouTube videos, I'm probably going to just shoot the regular 8-bit. I don't care. Okay. YouTube compresses the crap out of stuff. It won't <laughs> matter anyway. It's so sad. It is. I'm so I'm so picky about how things look, and then I upload it. And I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can tell them to check out my Vimeo too, because a lot of my some some of my work, like YouTube, uh, not YouTube, music videos and stuff, are up on Vimeo, and the compression is way less on Vimeo. Yeah, if you can, if you can uh, drop a link to it in the show notes, um, we can go ahead just, and post it and yeah, post it in the. the it's just said pro it's vimeo.com slash pro media. Jason, how are we doing, man? Any other questions coming our way? Jason, uh, I haven't heard from you in a while. We, uh, <laughs> we have some questions, uh, but I think uh, whatever questions you have on the show note, we'll probably answer them. So do I feel like I'm doing way too much talking. Jason needs to chime in. Yeah, Jason, oh. Jason needs to just jump in this, man. <laughs> Sully Cortez, 500, 500 terabytes of CFast is fourteen ninety nine. Holy smokes! It's still cheaper than a five hundred gig. Wait, wait. Does it uh, mean five hundred gig? Are you saying five hundred terabytes or five hundred? Yeah, gigabytes? that's five hundred gigabytes. That's no way it's going to be get terabytes. That's insane. Yeah, because the five hundred gig um, red mag for like the red cameras is like twenty five hundred bucks. <sighs> Playing with the big boys, man. I shot on red last weekend and like, dude, we were shooting with the, the red Epic W and with the helium 8k sensor and you yeah. only get like 20 minutes of, of 8k footage on a 500 gig card. It's insane. That's shooting raw. Was it just like a project that you're on music video or just, Oh uh, yeah, it was a music video. Okay. The video required red shooting on red. But see, that's the thing. Like, if I have the C two hundred, I might be able to like sway some clients that it's good enough if I'm shooting in raw to compete with do, the red. Do you actually find some clients are checking out the the actual equipment that you're using? And um, and actually, another um, question I have for you is, uh, like, are are the clients coming to you based on the work that they've seen, or is it word of mouth? How's it? How's the business for you in general? Um, it's, it's, it's a good question. Like I, I have business cards, but I never, like I'll barely ever give them to anybody. And I would say that like your Instagram, basically it's weird. Like Instagram's your business card now. Like a lot of work comes through Instagram, which is kind of weird. That's why I 
like I some people might get annoyed by me posting stuff that I'm working on or like behind the scenes stuff, but like people are looking at that and going, Oh, he does this. Maybe we should hire him, you know? And uh, it's pretty wild. There's a lot of people that I know that one of my buddies is like a, a drywaller and he's like famous on Instagram now <laughs> just from doing drywall and he gets so much work through it. It's crazy. Oh, that's awesome. But, but yeah, it's Instagram's a really good platform to get work, but um, I have a good connection with a studio here in Toronto and he's, he really likes the work I do. He's been sending a lot of his clients to me for a photo and video. So. Awesome. Would you ever consider doing videos talking about how you approach clients and, and maybe you have, I mean, I haven't seen it, but uh, just talking to them and how to, how you kind of work your business in or. Yeah. I mean, if anyone's interested in that kind of stuff, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I can probably talk about. Uh, I'd, I'd like to know. I'm, just, I'm so just... itchy. I was, I got mosquito <laughs> bites everywhere in my arms. I just like got to stop. I was shooting, I was shooting that wedding in like a forest, like in some really cool shots, and they were just like everywhere. I have one on my eyelid. I have a mosquito bite right here. <laughs> I'm like trying, I'm like trying to get the shot, and I can feel it, and I like can't take my hand off to slap it off. <laughs> oh, man, you're just, just not having a good time, man. Yeah, it's so good. Jason, slap it. Jason, Jason, how are we doing out there, man? Uh, Eric Rossi asks, are clients requesting 4K on final delivery? Um, I would say no, but I still do it anyway. And then they're like, this doesn't work on my computer. It's so laggy. <laughs> so I always do, I always do a 1080 and a 4k. And say, Under deliver and over deliver. And I, well, sometimes, um, sometimes I can't get 4k anyway, cause I'm shooting 1080 60. Hmm. Good, good. But yeah, for the most part, I would say. Most people don't even know the difference. So, and then Zed will start shooting with an 8K camera, and no one will know the difference. <laughs> that resolution, though. <laughs> Wait. So the footage that you shot with the with the red, did you actually get to play around with it? Then that that's footage you captured and you're working on, or I'm, just something you were just filming? No, I'm I'm not editing that video. But someone else is editing it. Got it. I'd like to. I'm curious to see how it'd run. I've never, I've never fired up some 8K on my computer. My buddy, though, uh, I don't know if you watched the video where I built him a computer. Yeah, I saw that. I think. Yeah, so he, he does edit at 8K footage, and he says it handles it fine. And that computer has a, the eight core, 6900K. Okay. Which is an expensive processor. <laughs> So Danny, we've got about ten minutes left. Do you guys want to? Oh, snaps! Michael Pierce, JV, and one camera guy. Respect, guys. Thanks. Thank you so much, Michael, for that twenty dollars donation. Thank you. We're getting one step closer to going to Canada, guys. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> we joke about it, but I, I'd be <laughs> totally down. Um, so it's gotta happen. Um, yeah, we should come to uh, Photo Plus. We'll, we'll all meet up in New York. Are you close to New? You're close to New. Would you be close to New York? Lee? Yeah, um, New York's probably like, I would say like 10 hours away. Oh, never mind. I thought. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's still like only half a day of driving. Yeah. Shoot. Or it's a, it's a quick flight, too. We've got about uh, 10 minutes left, Danny. Do you want to start doing open Q&A? Yeah, man, for sure. Anything with open Q and A um, that you guys have, and just hashtag Q A or whatever it is. Just any questions in general, we'll tackle it all together. Um, yeah, definitely. And I, I, I really don't. More. Okay, go ahead. I go for a, it, man. I got a couple more questions here, but Danny, do you have any other questions? No, go for it right now. Dave Sincere asks, Zed, what is your favorite gear that you bought as of late? Gear you can't live without. Uh, hmm. Well, I'd probably say my favorite lens, and I wouldn't say it's the newest thing I bought, but my favorite lens I've been shooting with is the Fuji XF56 f1.2. I literally throw that lens on every... Every time I'm doing portraits, it's, it's just a beast. 
I need and that lens. If I had no lenses, I would only have that lens. I have no idea what these lenses are. I have, I have <laughs> zero clue about Fuji. So, so the 56 the 56 oh, the the fifty six millimeter in a on a on a Fuji is uh, eighty five equivalent. No, that one. Okay. Yeah, and it's f one point two. It's got a nice, nice, nice creamy. Bottom. Okay, so you use both the A seven R two. You've used A seven R two, and you got the Fuji XC two. Yeah. In your perspective, in terms of image quality and the look. Which one would you go? Well, obviously, we already know what you you ended up doing, but um, how would you rate the A seven R two and the Fuji XT two? Um, image quality, I would say that the A seven R two is probably obviously still better because of the forty two megapixels. Yeah, but there's something about the Fuji look that I can't put into any kind of spec. I th I think you just have to try the camera. Okay. Um, you're gonna have to do it. You're just gonna have to get one. I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a rental and then uh, see if B and H will send like a, a lens. But I'll probably do a, a rental out with with a little kit uh, yeah. of lenses and then check out the Fuji XT two. Um, I I don't think that like for what you do it's like really the best camera, but I don't know. It's actually not that bad to be honest. It's got good it's got good uh, tracking on it. But I, that's what I'm curious. Not, it's not gonna I'm be curious. A nine. It's gonna not be as good. <laughs> <laughs> At least the one oh. overheat on you. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh. Wait, doesn't the Fuji XC2 have heating problems too? I mean, I've, but uh, not, no, that is prevalent. Not, not, not for photography. I did an overheating test in video and it, uh, the warning temp came on, but um, that was without the battery grip, I think. Okay. But yeah, I mean, every, every mirrorless camera is going to get freaking hot. Yeah. Like even the GH5, it gets really hot. I've never had it overheat though. Or even show a temp warning. It's probably because of the sensor oh. size. Dave uh, has a follow-up question. How long did it take for you to master your Fuji camera and feel comfortable using it? Pretty quick. It's pretty intuitive. It, like the menus are dead simple, and all the controls and dials are on top of the camera. Or I don't, I don't have it. I can go grab it, but you can see my, you can watch my review on it. It's, it's pretty. <laughs> It's pretty legit. Like it's, I don't know. I, I like the fact that you can set everything before you even turn it on. You already know like what your camera settings are. It's it's a pretty awesome camera. Not gonna not gonna lie. And I've tried pretty much every camera except the A nine, which I will never be able to afford. <laughs> <laughs> it was either the C two hundred or the A nine. Which one would you go with? Yeah. It's uh, those are they're two different worlds. Oh uh, yeah, of course, of course. But wait, what about an A nine F's? That doesn't exist, but uh. it'll. If the A nine S comes out with, uh, they need to bump the megapixel up a bit. I think people will be happy with like an eighteen megapixel, maybe. Oh hell yeah! If they did an eighteen megapixel version Is that of six K, would that be enough for a six K six K feed already? Eighteen megapixels. Uh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the the GH five does that like six K photo thing, and I think it's eighteen megapixels. What? Okay. Oh, or was it? Yes. Or do you need at least twenty four megapixels to do six K? Right? Or because I know the no, no, I don't think so. Okay, but yeah, what if the A seven S A seven S three or A nine S did some sort of six K file? Would that pique your interest, or are you still good with the Canon C200 route? I guess it just depends on codecs and whatever they're providing you, right? Well, again, it's two different worlds. You're going back to yeah. like a DSLR mirrorless style camera versus a, and, and like the C200 will have a fan in it. <laughs> <laughs> so there, I hate to say it, but I feel like unless Sony increases the body size, there's always going to be some overheating problems. Yeah. They're just trying to cramp like a full frame sensor in that tiny little body with the processing that it's doing is like it's it's just kind of physics, right? Like you can't really Where's the heat gonna go? The heat's not gonna be able to go anywhere else. It's it really comes down to physics of the size to heat ratio or whatever. All right, Jason, hammer out whatever Q and A that we were able to get. Um, cool. Eric Rossi says he thinks nineteen megapixels for six K. Nineteen megapixels. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sully Cortez asks, uh, which do you enjoy more, shooting video or photo? Question to Lee. Oh. 
I definitely enjoy photography more because there's a lot more involved when you're shooting video. I mean, at least doing music videos and stuff like that. Like there's a lot of so much planning, uh, way more work spent on lighting. And, and then you've got um, acting or, you know, performance stuff. And then you've got camera movement and camera motion, which is a whole separate thing in its own versus photography when you're just snapping your like, uh, video composition is a lot different than photography composition, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like when it comes to movement anyway. Got it. So I would say I, like, I love the final product of making a music video, uh, because there's so much that goes into it. It's like more of an accomplishment when you get to like actually see it finished, but definitely with photography, it's like, just, you walk in and like, if you're working with a model, who's like definitely experienced in what they're doing, it's, it's, a, it's just a fun time. I don't really think of it as work, but with video, it's more work. <laughs> Jason, next one. All right. Uh, Eric McFarland, what are you guys expecting from the Canon 6D Mark II? Not much. I mean, it's, <laughs> a Canon, it's, I think we mentioned a Canon 80D in a full frame. Exactly. Yeah. They're, they're rumoring that it might not have 4K. Yeah. Guys, I, I don't. I, yeah, it's not going to, I doubt it's going to have 4K. It, if they if they do decide to add it, it'll be exactly like the the 5D Mark IV, and we all know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of those things, and that's exactly what Can is trying to do. They're trying to keep the photography side on its own thing, and then the video thing, and that's kind of what I'm starting to do now. Yeah, right. as far, like the 6D Mark II, that's, that's what I'm... I got a 6D right here. Oh. Not Mark II, though. I would buy the Mark II if it was under two grand. It's probably it's Canada, do Canada dollars, right? Canada, Canada dollars? Canadian dollars, yeah. Okay, so Canadian, Canadian dollars, it'll probably be like three grand. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the thing that makes me really mad, too, because everyone's like, oh, well, you know, um, stuff's cheaper and or whatever, you know, the exchange rate and stuff like that. And like, I don't care. I feel like I probably make the same money as anyone in the States doing the exact same job. And the cost of living here is so much more. It's crazy. Like it, just gas alone. Like I was down in Nashville a couple months ago and like gas I saw was like two, two ten a gallon or something like that. Oh, and, God. and like in Canada, we go by liters and it's it would be roughly more like four dollars and twenty cents a gallon. It's Damn. almost like double the price just for gas here. It's crazy. Yeah, the A9 is crazy expensive here. It's like over six grand. Damn. I'm the brown. Um, I'm the brown. Ten dollars. He He's killing it. Can we yeah. do something to get more <laughs> women in the channel? We have every culture here, but no women. <laughs> Not even the models that Jason bought. He's complaining. There's too many dicks here, man. We gotta. We gotta hey, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> we didn't put a PG-13 rating PG on this. PG-13 um, sausage fest. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work something see. out. We'll work something out. Hmm. Yeah. We'll think about it. Thanks, I'm the brown man. You always dropping cash our way, man. We'll get we'll get my girlfriend step... to be on the show. One step closer to getting to Canada. To Canada. To New York. You guys, you guys need to come to Canada. Yeah, I gotta check it out. I want to go to Canada. It's been uh, it's, it's been a Hashtag long time. I've I've only went as far <laughs> as um Vancouver. That's it. That's 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 as far as I got. Vancouver's nice. Vancouver. I, I just I had to go see my fellow Asians. <laughs> There's there's a lot of there's a lot of Asian there. I, I think it's just because it's on the coast, right? Yeah, a lot of people just it. it's easy to get across the. Canada the has a Canada has a coast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on the Asian. It's so weird. That's why I need to go. I just don't understand the, the landscape too well. So have you dude, ready? Canada, like, well, where you got you guys live in like a paradise compared to the rest of the rest of like North America, just because of where you are. But like I would like Toronto's not much different for weather than New York is. Mm. So picture New York weather and that's Toronto. Got it. 
Awesome, awesome. Steve asks, Danny, is your A9 journey completely finished now? Game over, camera returned. Oh. Yeah, I'm curious as to why you don't have it anymore. Um, no, I sent mine back for a replacement from B&H Photo, so I'm just waiting for a replacement unit. And if it if it does overheat again, we'll see what happens um, when I actually just use it. But for the most part, I, you know, I still like the camera. I, I want to use it. The, the, I haven't even had a chance to really use it for sports as much. I've been trying to find stuff to shoot in my area, but I just really just want to just keep using the camera. And the fact that there's a 402.8 unicorn lens might be uh, being announced for Sony very soon makes me very interested and happy. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting, man. I, people think I hate the A9 or something like that. But I have something against it, but it's like <laughs> I really like the camera. It's just the overheating thing that no one believes. Um, but I don't know. I mean, like I said, if it was just my units that had a potential to just really overheat easily, then fine. You know, I, I accept that. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if the the unit. It's all, but, it's all lies, man. It's just for it's all clickbait. An angry photographer's know, right? camera never overheated. <laughs> Angry Danny. Uh, it's 116 around here right now. We hit 116 today. Oh my gosh, 116. I or that's what it said on my. No, I take that back. 100 uh, 106. Okay, I take that back. Okay, okay. I was freaking out for you, man. Okay. I was like, 116. Okay. 106. 106. I think oh it, my gosh. It was 108, and um, I was like, yeah, I was just like, oh man. Um, if if I took the A9 out at this temperature, it would have it would have been done. Like. Fried eggs done, like so close. Like there's 108 right there on the, on the temp right there. So wow. yeah. What is that there in Celsius? So all our non-Americans can understand <laughs> how hot it is here. Not but sure. they say, but they say you're using, you're not, you, you're using the camera. Uh, you shouldn't be using the camera in those temperatures. I'm like, but when you're a photographer or whatever, you don't have a choice sometimes. I mean, it's like, you just got to use it. This is what it is in Toronto right now. And this is this is 19 degrees Celsius. I don't really know what that is. In all right, let me convert it. 19. What and, is that? 60. All... Oh, 66. <laughs> Daddy, dude, we gotta move to Toronto, man. But it's <laughs> it's 11. It's 11 p.m. right now, so it's pretty it's pretty warm for night. No. Oh wow. I I I take it. It's like still like 85 <laughs> nice. in my house right now. It's it's Woo! summer right now, so you know it gets uh, pretty hot there sometimes. <laughs> JYP photo says, "How many kidney kidneys do you have, Danny? <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Not no, enough, man. Yeah, um, up to your machine. Buy dude. I, like I said, once that 400 comes out, I'm selling. I, I think that's when my Canon stuff goes already at this point. So, I, I can't. There's no way. I probably will just try to rent out the 400, get a loaner unit out initially, try it out. But I, I don't I think, think my lens is going to be like eight grand, maybe. It's going to be like ten plus." Yeah, guaranteed be pretty expensive I, it has to be i mean even canon's model and sony's track record is, is this they're always priced a little bit more they tend to be priced a little bit higher than than canon so right now, um, yeah. yeah but we'll see i was really hoping the adapting adapting the signal was going to work and um but no just to, yeah that's that's it's it's always going to be a little issue when you're trying to adapt you're not going to get you're not going to get the full experience, but like that's pretty exciting. Like a 400 mil prime is is what Sony needs to really break into the pro market. And then you'll see all these all these uh, pros running around 400 mil lenses with an A6500 on the end. <laughs> It'll just look really ridiculous. <laughs> lenses way out here. Oh man, Jason, what's going on out there, man? You had some weird hand signals going on. Oh, I'm trying to yeah, I'm trying to look not bored and not unhappy so people will like <laughs> comments about me looking really depressed during the live show so i'm just trying to like move make make some movements to make sure everyone knows i'm alive and i'm active with energy and some thumbs up to remind you're people just, to give us some thumbs up on the show you're just waiting to crack open that spark oh yeah <laughs> we're just oh, slowing them down i'm itching for it you fly that it. baby around your room <sighs> do it oh yeah that yeah. should be your video fly it in your house Oh, it's it's what it's meant to do, right? <laughs> to be flown indoors. Just start taking I'm take, selfies. I'm gonna fly it over VidCon this weekend. Be like all, weekend? All, all, all kinds of spark. No, all the sparks are gonna be there probably. Vid, uh, VidCon's this week, I believe. It starts this week. Yeah, like I went the to the one. In, I went to the one in 2013. How was it? Did? It was cool. I mean, I like so back then. I my so my 
His, you want another story? Did we got go to it. The story? Just go for it, man. So uh, my roommate actually has a drumming YouTube channel. Well, he's not my roommate anymore, but when he was my roommate, I actually shot a lot of, of his covers. And uh, back then, he got actually. I don't know if you guys have heard of Dave Days. He's like a. Oh shoot! Really? Yeah. So he Dave Days flew him out to California to shoot some videos with him. Yeah. And uh, they got to become like really good friends and. He actually invited us out to VidCon because he played that year at 20, uh, 2013. Mm -hmm. And I went with him and like it was pretty it was pretty wild. We hung out with a lot of like random people like Rebecca Black and stuff. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild. So I, I went to that VidCon. It was pretty crazy. It's a it's a fun time. Oh man. I guess if you get that back that access, you know, I think it's worth your while. But if you end up being just part of the crowd, I think you'll just kind of get to absorb some of the uh what's going on out there who's going to be there yeah i'm curious to oh, see Danny, what kind go. of i'm curious to see what kind of like uh because because like photography channels aren't really the same as like a vlog channel no. you don't get the same kind of like excited fans i don't think i mean i don't know <laughs> we'll have like middle-aged uh middle-aged uh men come out Hang and, uh, Hang and out greet us cool. Little I mean, kids. those those little girls, they have fathers who watch for photography channel, right? True. So, true. Oh, come on out. Come on out, dad. They have to be out there, and then the dads will come the around. Show up, none, of their, none of their kids want to go to VidCon anymore. So that's not cool anymore because our parents <laughs> are showing up now. They put on Facebook, and now they're trying to ruin VidCon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, it's crazy. You see some of those, uh, like, I don't even know, like all these like British vloggers and like YouTubers and stuff, and they'll be like running away from little girls, like chasing them and screaming. It's crazy. I'm like, I don't know who that is. Something, something we'll never know, or I'll never know. Um, all right, uh, Jason, you see any other questions out there we want to tackle? Um, Arnold thinks I'm going to trade all my stuff for Nikon gear. That is true. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, nothing, nothing much from my end except uh, Dave Sincere ask, uh, Lee, when you shoot a wedding, how quick do you normally turn around the pics to the client? Or I guess if you do videos, how long it would it take for you uh, to crank them out? Depends, really. I'm pretty quick at editing. I would I'd probably say a couple of weeks. Depends on what I got That's, going on. That, is, that is pretty quick. I don't really shoot a ton of weddings. Like I think I've only done six. But... Um, it depends on what I got going on. Like right now, I have a lot of stuff to do, and plus, that's when I didn't have a YouTube channel, and I'm, I've been still trying to like do one video a week. And uh, yeah, it, it's it's roughly two weeks, but I also don't sleep. So yeah, I've noticed that. Um, Lee's messaged me before on Instagram, <laughs> and I'm like, I could have sworn he's he has some time difference here, <laughs> and he's still awake. And yeah, I'm always up working away. And, oh, man, I, I, got, I gotta take some inspiration because at at twelve o'clock, not even twelve, like ten, I'm I'm feeling it. I'm just like I gotta go to bed, knock out. Just my just my prime sleep. time, my prime time is eleven p.m. to three a.m. Oh, nice. That's when, I, that's, that's when I'm like working. That's when I get the most work done. But I then I don't, my, wake up. I don't wake up till like eleven a.m. So my day starts <laughs> well, maybe. Yeah, my prime time is like six a.m. to like eleven. I I, I do better. I, I crank out more work in the morning than I do at night or in the afternoon. Yeah, I'm a morning person. Uh, yeah, you are. You like message me at like six. That, but but that's because back back when you're still teaching uh, during the year. <laughs> yeah, I get message from like at six a.m. I'm like, why? I, I didn't have a I didn't have a choice. And then sometimes during you know it's funny like you would we were trying to news would come out. I'm in my classroom. I'm like oh crap the A9's been announced or something something's <laughs> been dropped. I'm like right between passing periods. I got to check my phone and quickly see what's going on in the world. And it sucks because I can't respond to something that happens because I'm I'm at work. So it's like I can't do anything. And then Eric Rossi, Eric Rossi's got his video coming up already on the camera. Hi, Eric. <laughs> um, and then I'm like, damn it, Eric, why why are you always up on up on those videos you. first? <laughs> <laughs> just make the Eric, just, uh, just make the video while you're teaching, or like just just use incorporate a into a lesson. And um, no, nah, it's tough. It's tough. Kids, why do you think the A9 is going to be the most revolutionary camera made by Sony? And then they're like, go ahead, go ahead, Johnny, answer the question. 
They're like, what's the A9? They like, we just knew that you have a lot of cameras, Mr. Eusebio. Like they call me like, you have a lot of cameras. These funny my past student of mine's will message me like, hey, you got any cameras for sale? Do you have any cameras for sale? I'm like, my thing is this, when they ask me for if I have a camera for sale, it's like, I'm like, do you have a thousand bucks plus to buy the camera from me? Because I don't have any like cheaper cameras anymore that you can just buy. And it's just like, do you have any cameras for sale? I'm like, I don't, I don't. I don't know. And then they're like, my mom's like two, like $500. And I'm like, that's not enough to get whatever you're trying to get. <laughs> so I, but, I only, I, I only have a, a $200. Can you sell me your A9? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's the thing. Like, what do you, what do you teach anyway? I don't, I, I don't really know your history either. It's media production. I do photography and video. So I have a, uh, yeah. So it's just like some graphic design video and, uh, photography yeah as far as my classes are so I'm very fortunate I get to teach the fun stuff um, I thought about teaching like physics and math like that was something I was interested in doing but I'm like I, I'm cool with what I'm doing right now so I'm gonna yeah, that's stay a good gig. <laughs> yeah so I don't, I don't have a, I'm very lucky because I don't have very problematic students at all uh, I've never had to yeah I've never the, the four years I've taught I've never had any big issues so yeah that's good Oh crap! Is my signal going out? Dave You're sincere fine. says, "Uh oh, Danny's net zero account is acting up." Damn it, Dave! That was actually the first internet I ever had in my life. Okay, Dave, are you making fun of me? I had <laughs> dial-up net zero when I was in high school. It was a struggle. I begged for internet, and I and they were like, "We weren't gonna get internet." I begged and I begged and I begged. Can we please get internet? And it was net zero. Net zero. That free ten hours, right? That free ten hour. <laughs> oh man. We don't have that in Canada. No, no net zero. <laughs> it's like we just got some type of fiber everywhere. No, I had dial up, man, for a long time. My parents lived in the country, so like high speed never came. Oh, no. You got to go where the high speed is. Just got to gotta fire up the old dial up modem. <laughs> I'm the brown piece up, man. Wait for everything to load. It takes forever. Uh, JYP photo says, Danny's not a math teacher. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I thought about it. I thought about it, but it's all good. All right. Um, I think that's it, guys. I think we've kind of hit our hit our end zone here. Uh, we've gone past our time. Um, Lee, I'm going to give you the final final say here. If there's anything that you want to share with the crowd or anyone out there. Oh man, not really. Just thanks for having me on the live stream. I try and catch it when I can, and I was it's always a good time. You guys, you guys are always fun to watch. I didn't, we didn't really get Jason too interacting into this into this chat, but I think I think the next time you drop in, I I don't think we'll have to do. We'll just try to go at it as far as uh, as far as the show goes, or if we can get a different moderator in. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I did a lot of like introducing myself, I guess. Yeah. No, it's good. I, I like it, I like being I like listening and <laughs> keeping people interact, uh, uh, keeping people entertained in the chat. I, I think it's. Sense. I mean, I kind of enjoy it too. I kind of enjoy this aspect. This is it's an opportunity just to learn a little bit more about you, um, and then uh, just to go from there in the future. It's like, hey, you've been on the show. We know a little bit more about uh, Lee and and everything else. So that's what I really enjoy about it. But, oh yeah, what. When when Danny was like, we have a guest on the show. I was like, it's time for me to kick back and relax. <laughs> <laughs> just 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 worry about the chat. That's all I have to do. <laughs> Someone needs to do it. Uh, happy. All right, day. everyone. Happy. To do Thank it. you so much for joining our live stream once again, our Monday live. Thank you again, and Lee. Thank you for coming out and joining us no this problem. evening. I know it's getting. You're starting your work time frame now, very soon, uh, yeah. over there. And Jason, thank you for taking um, the moderating role. Appreciate glad, it. Glad to do it. It was man, a lot of fun. Man. And everybody else on the live stream, I'm DeBrown, Michael Mistro. Thank you for the donations. Uh, you guys are always dropping money. Uh, I really do appreciate it. It's, uh, it's, it's great. And that's going to close out episode 16 of our Monday Live podcast. Once again, thank you guys. Uh, appreciate it. See you guys later. Peace.